Hello and welcome back to Promise Gaming and more EU4, My Nostrum, playing as Venice. Alright, so the Ottomans are in their little war against the Mamluks. I'm kind of hoping that they are going to engage, lose their armies. I'll be paying very close attention to that. In the meantime, though, we are beating up on little Florence. I'm going to feed whatever I can off to Ferrara. And, of course, because I reloaded the game, a lot of things got switched around. Anyways, who? what you doing? You're gonna go marching down there, are you, Hokey? Uh, where are the rest of our armies? This guy is way over here. Do we still have a rebellion issue here? Nope. Nope, we do not. Bigga Cocchielli. Those are the ones we're worried about now. Bigga Cocchielli. These two. Alright, <clears throat> well, Florence is gonna try to siege down Ferrara. That's fine, you go ahead and do that. I gotta siege down faster than you can! Do we full annex them and feed them both to Ferrara? That's an idea. A lot of embargoes getting switched around, of course. You know, this is how I miss things like alliances between the Ottomans and Muscovy. Every time I reload the game, I just rapidly click through everything. I've got no idea what happens. Ferrara, what are you doing? Mamluks, cancelled military access. Right, because we couldn't give it to the, the Ottomans. But we could give it to the Mamluks last time. But now they don't want it anymore. Well, that's too bad, because it means the Ottomans can't fight you. That sucks. I want the Ottomans to lose their army. No! Oh, gosh! Okay, well, I guess... No, wait, you stay there. There we go. Just broke that siege by accident. Oops. <sighs> Alright, Ottomans has been discovered building a spy network. That's fine. We really need to be building our own spy network. We're building one against Sicily. We don't care that much about Castile anymore. Let's go ahead and build one against the Ottomans. I feel like I'm going to want to go to war against them. Oops. Okay. So getting some more claims would be a good thing. Unfortunately, the Ottomans are not fighting the Mamluks. I really wish they would. But they're screwed, so okay, we might as well eat as much of this as we can. Before anyone else gets to it. Hungary, Poland. You know. Let's make sure we get whatever we can. The Ottomans are still our rival, right? Yes, they are. So we'll get some power projection. Actually, we should go ahead and insult them. I need a guy. Forget you, Hungary. By the way, I apologize if, my mouth, if I sound a little bit weird. Uh, I have a sore in my mouth, and I just applied some medicine to it, which happens to have a numbing effect. So my whole mouth feels a little bit weird right now. Like, half of it has completely fallen asleep. It's bizarre. Florence wants out. Too bad. Boom! A lot of things got paid off to Switzerland, really. Ouch. Salt crisis. Aw. That sucks. When did Swit Ravensburg get this territory? Did I miss something? Maybe. Become Papal Controller. I would love to. Not sure I'm going to be able to, but I would love to. Conquer Cyprus. Oh, now that is something I would love. But we're going to be fighting the Ottomans more than the Mamluks. Let's invest in becoming the Papal Controller. We'll invest what we can. I've already invested a ton. I didn't even realize I had invested that much. Alright, we've got a 30% chance of finishing that mission. That's fine. Oh, we had a rebellion. Wasn't expecting that. Okay. Advisor has died, but not one that was relevant to us. We're at 95 Republican tradition. Hopefully we can be uh, re-electing some people pretty soon. All right, an inland center of trade. Very profitable. We'll hand this all off to Ferrara because I can't take much of it myself. And let's piece them out. Can I take both? I totally can. We'll feed it all off to Ferrara. And as far as the aggressive expansion, Corsica, Genoa, Naples, Austria, and Ottomans. So what you're telling me then is that the Ottomans could join a coalition and make it impossible for me to do anything to them. So what you're telling me then is I should hold off on declaring the end of this war, move my troops into position, see if I can't get any claims, declare war on them, and then peace out. Or at least peace out and then very rapidly declare war. Tech. We are still far ahead of time when it comes to military tech, so no thank you. We will instead... Do a bit more development, I think. Let's see. Cost. Look for the green. 375's not that good. Eh. 
Some of the best I can get, really, though. Really, I want to be putting my manpower or my uh, military power wherever I have a core, you know? Ferrara, for one. Doesn't have a barracks, though. 82. 74. I feel like they may have uh, changed this around a little bit. As far as like how they provide the information for what your development's going to do. Unless it just so happens that literally everything is 375, but I thought it would be more than that. It's weird. Hmm. Well, why don't we go ahead and do a couple in... Well, actually, no. You know what? Let's find out which ones need some building slots. Who doesn't have a building slot? Five, seven, eight, nine. You're kind of close. That's not a lot of manpower, but all right. We'll build one in Trent. Ten. How about getting close to twenty? Anyone? No. Ragusa. One, two, three, four. Done. Thank you. Ragusa has an extra building slot. Marketplace. Taxes. Manpower. Shipyard. Hmm. What would I want to build? Could always build, you know, like a dock for sailors, but meh. Which seems silly. Um, point thirteen. It's okay. What do you produce? Naval supplies, right. I mean, it's okay. I'm just kind of questioning whether I want the increased land force limit. But no, we'll go ahead and put it here. At the end of the day, money is still money, and that's good. Alright, we can afford a couple more cannons, so I'll put one here. I'll build one there. Alright. <clears throat> so, how's the war going? Not good for you. It's kind of to be expected, wasn't it? Can't give military access, so you're literally screwed here. You've just got 23,000 troops that can't do anything but let Karaman and the Mamluks beat the crud out of you. Pretty soon, we actually might be able to get the Ottomans out of the game. There was a suggestion to vassalize them. First off, right now, they're too large to vassalize, just making sure you understand that. But secondly, I don't know. I'm not sure I want to vassalize um, some Sunni. Oh. Well, damn. I guess we eclipsed them, so we got some extra power projection, but... Really? No, they haven't lost their war yet. Nothing's changed. Why are they no longer a valid rival? They're just as powerful, if not a little bit more powerful, than they were just a couple days ago. Or a few months ago. Weird. Austria's rivaled me. Oh, goody. The new emperor doesn't like me. Shocker. They left the military coalition, though. Well, that's good. Who else was able to join a coalition? I think Corsica was one of them. Let's improve relations with you for a little bit. Let's just see what we can do. <sighs> Frustrating. 30. 30 spy network to make a single claim. I wonder if claims are now calculated based on how many claims you already have. Brittany rivaled England. That seems like an ill-advised decision, but okay. And we did not become the Papal Controller. Damn. Well, this is not going well for us, is it? Let's go and invest what we can. <sighs> Alright. They've announced Naples as a rival. Sure. Seems fine. So, I guess we don't need to embargo these guys anymore. Go ahead and pulled off of Poland. We'll revoke the embargo. We'll have to find a new uh, new rival as soon as we finish this war. Can't select a new rival while you're at war, but I'm missing two of them now. Austria, England, and Denmark are three that are guaranteed to be available to me. The Papal State probably won't be. I don't actually know who else would be available, though. We're probably going to rival Austria. That would make sense. But beyond that, I don't really know. Uh, I wanted to go ahead and start fabricating some claims against Genoa, unless I already have one. Oh, I do. Okay, never mind. Um, maybe we should start building some spy network against uh, against these guys. It actually will reduce the amount of aggressive expansion we get with them. Good! We can finally spend off some of our Republican tradition and get more Monarch points. 
All right. That's what Republican tradition is for. Gosh, my mouth feels so weird. Blah. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. Done there. Done there. <clears throat> do, 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 do. So am I going to wait, seriously, for one more claim? What would I even claim? I have claims on these. Okay. But those might even get taken in this war by Karaman, which would suck. I would love to get your capital. That's a good province. Eight development, six development, nine, fourteen, that's okay. Sixteen, that's even better. I would take this one, I think. Twelve, you got a couple of decent provinces here. But this is the one I would get a claim against. If I want to wait until I have thirty. Which I do, I do think I want to wait. Give an opportunity for some aggressive expansion to tick down, and so on. Still a couple years ahead of time, though. Can't really do much with this. We should go to war pretty soon so I can start spending some of my power. Expanding the holds of Venice. How's the empire looking? Traders look abroad. Cool! Trade efficiency and trade power abroad. Nice. Austria is still in line to get elected, but Bohemia has a fair bit of support. Still Catholic, still Catholic. Hmm... All right, well, these Ottoman separatists are getting kind of close. Oh, wow. Naples just got excommunicated. I could declare war on Naples pretty soon. I already have claims. I could I could do that anyway, but still. All right, we don't need to continue doing this with them. Let's improve relations with Naples, even if they have been excommunicated. So they are less likely to join a coalition. Trier, religious turmoil is done. Good for you. <sighs> I'm just waiting a couple months. I want to get up to 30, which is interesting, by the way. Now that you have to have 30 to get a claim against the Ottomans, then uh, that means you do have to run the risk of getting caught. I mean, I could get very unlucky. As long as you're above 25, you could get caught. So I could get unlucky and never be able to get a claim against the Ottomans because they keep detecting me because I have to get above 25. That's a very interesting change that Paradox decided to make. I think it's an okay change, but it's very annoying. Now I kind of miss the old system, you know? The olden days. Alright, well, I think we should declare war on them while there's still a crusade. I think there's still a crusade, right? Yep, there's still a crusade until 1563. Got a few more years of crusade. We might as well take advantage of that, I think, right? Yeah. Farmlands. What a terrible place to park an army. Go ahead and get in position. All right, so I want to fabricate a claim on Bucharest. This one. Thank you. Not sure I'm gonna be able to use these claims, but who knows? Maybe I can, or at least maybe I'll have a claim against Karaman if I ever do need to go against war uh, against them. Really would love this province, though. Okay, hang on, hang on. Give to the state. I will take the prestige. Money's irrelevant to me. Muscovy will cede a lot to Novgorod. Would you look at that? Novgorod's come back. Unable to hold on to Narva and have been forced to return it to Estonia. Estonia? That's a new nation. Interesting. Oh, there's another one. Return things to the Livonian order. Yep, sure enough. Huh. Interesting. All right, well, <clears throat> uh, I think we go ahead and we pull a diplomat back. I think we pull another off Naples now. It's kind of irrelevant. All right, Florence, congratulations. All of this is going to get fed to my vassal. There's nothing else I care about. So have fun with this one. Pew! And now, before any coalition is able to start, let's first select a couple of rivals. We'll take Austria. And I guess we'll take England. Why not? It says England's a lot weaker than me right now. That's weird. All right, so Ottomans, I don't want you to join any coalitions. I'm gonna call in Bohemia, and I'm going to try to take this one. This one I know I should be able to get control of. These two, not so much. We'll have to fight Bukhara, which sucks, but it's okay. With Bohemia in the war, they will have Crusade as well, so they should get some nice bonuses. Let's confirm the war, and let's go and stomp on the Ottoman once again. 
Crusade! The second grand crusade against the Turks. Humiliate rival against Austria. Another thing got released. Had to be returned to Muscovy. Okay, what, what is happening to Novgorod? I don't think they're having separatists. Something's happening where they're literally just losing territory. Not sure if they're getting rid of it because they're too large of a merchant republic now? Maybe that's the thought. Corsica has announced Naples' arrival. Corsica? This little guy? Okay. Look how much bigger Ferrara is. When I eat them, they're actually going to be a very valuable uh, nation. Nice little vassal. Okay. So, Stompy Stomp. Um, can't quite chase them down, unfortunately. So let's split. Where's the other forts? One there. Alright. Let's go siege down both of their forts. The Evangelical Union, it's begun! Alright, the Protestants' confessional positions has been refused at the Imperial Parliament, and they have formed the Protestant League, and Augsburg is the leader of said League. Well, we're going to end up joining the Catholic League, no doubt about it. Not sure if I want to do that right now. We're at war, so we can't anyway. But I'm going to want to join the Catholic League. Catholics need to be the dominant faith. Castile joined the Protestant League? Wow. Ma okay, wait a minute. Why are the Mamluks no longer valid? The Mamluks are getting stronger. What the crud? This game cannot do this to me again. We did this with Muscovy. Do not start messing up all my rivals again, game. Do not. That would not be fair. Get very mad. I'm already a little bit mad at the prospect. Castile, you're Catholic, aren't you? Yeah, you just joined the Protestant League because you hate Austria, apparently. Or you hate other people that are in the Catholic League. But Portugal did join the Catholic League, so cool. France joined the Catholic League. Okay, well, when the thing is done, let's go ahead and join that. Genoa joined the Catholic League. Yeah. I would like to be strong enough that I can be the leader of said Catholic League. That would be great. Sicily. Crap, they discovered me. Okay. Well, I don't think I can fabricate any claims against you because we don't have any adjacency. I just wanted to have a really good uh, spy network so that when we do fight Naples, maybe I can get something. But it's not going to happen anytime soon, I don't think. Bohemia, I think, just stack wiped them for me. Thank you, sir. Very nice. Very, very nice. Gondola extravagance. The public morality must always be safeguarded by the Venetian government, and so from time to time, laws are created to make sure our people stay true to the Christian ideals on which our city is built. The gondola is a simple enough vessel, and thousands of them ferry people around on the canals of Venice every day. As so often the many rich and powerful families of our republic have found, the temptation to flaunt their wealth hard to resist. Read that a little wrong. Gondolas come in all kinds of sizes, colors, over-decorated. It's now being debated if a law should be forbid the decoration. Paint them black. Local unrest. Gain stability. Heck yes. <laughs> yeah. Forget the unrest. Basically getting another stability is just like having that. And by the way, if these guys fire, I'm not too worried about it because Bohemia should actually group up and help fight them. So that'll be fine. We have a couple of diplomats free. We should continue to improve relations with Poland, I think. We should improve a little bit more with France. And we should... Hmm. Build a spy network against the Mamluks. There we go. That all seems pretty good. Working on these forts. There are the Ottoman Separatists. They fired in Bigga. Okay. Bohemia, go kill, please. No, don't go that way. Go down here. No, don't go here. Castile broke their alliance with Portugal. Ooh, wow, that doesn't happen too often. So, is Bohemia going here? I think they are. They should go kill this for me. Nice! Regulation of the medical profession. Local land goods. 25 in Dalmatia or admin power. Dalmatia, you produce wool. That's just money. I'm going to take the power. Switzerland announced Ravensburg as a rival. Okay, I'm sorry. Paradox? I'm calling bullcrap. Switzerland. This big nation rivals a one-province minor. Venice no longer allowed to rival Ottoman or Mamluks. Where's the frickin' logic here? I don't know. 
I don't freaking know. But it's stupid, and I don't like it much at all. Brabant. Religious turmoil. Don't care. <sighs> if this game does that to me again, I swear to God. I get real mad. Because you guys remember my Russian campaign, right? For like... 60-some percent of the game, no rival. Because it just wasn't possible to have a freaking rival. Thank you, Bohemia! Good job. I knew I liked them. Well, we're starting to run low on manpower again, but what else is new? Augsburg broke an alliance with Trier. It's fine with me. We'll just siege everything we can. Loot everything we can. Go stomp on that. Doop, 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 doop. Denmark declared war on Novgorod. Novgorod, whatever. Denmark, do you still have Sweden? I think Sweden broke free. Yeah, Sweden broke free. Norway is still yours, though. It was a very late breakup from Sweden. They usually break out a lot sooner than that. Eh. It's fine. All right, so we got three stability. We are beating up the Ottomans, but I don't think I'm going to be able to end this war until Karaman and the Mamluks do, because I won't be able to get their capital. Which would be a little problematic for me, for fairly obvious reasons, I think. Nonetheless, this war seems to be going pretty well. Can't improve relations with Poland anymore. Mantuan separatists are the next on the list. Tunis has agreed to share their map with France. I don't really... no, I don't care. Ottomans won out of the war! Too freaking bad! Ottomans never allowed to leave war. Crusade! <laughs> we actually may want to sit on this war for as long as we can and just enjoy the uh, enjoy the crusade and let the aggressive expansion tick down. No reason why not. We'll see. All right. Well, I think we're gonna have. Wow. Poland ate a bunch of Crimea. Poland is becoming very, very strong. Wow. Breaking an alliance with them. And picking one up with Bohemia might act... Uh, sorry, losing the one with Bohemia to pick one up with Poland might be a better deal. Poland is better for my long-term plans, and they are going to be very strong if they have Lithuania. Between France and Poland? Who could stop me? No one! Bohemia, you're no longer the Emperor. I think we're going to drop you. But that'll have to wait till next time. Thank you guys for watching. This has been Provis. Hope you enjoyed. If so, then hit that like button. Leave a comment. Subscribe. And I will see you guys next time.